Hello there everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to continue our series on the journey to number one on the Doubles Little Cup ladder. As you can see, we are currently number five on the ladder. There's a, a bit more progress going on with a couple other people making their way up there, which is probably a good time to say that this already, three episodes in, someone else has already started not only playing, but also making their own CS series. Reckless Trico VGC has started his own race to number one, trying to beat me to it. So I'll, I'll link his video down in the description, but he's a great guy. I definitely recommend watching his video. But already this series is having an effect on people and people already want to play it. So I'm really, really happy about that. So I'm just going to jump right in. No more talking. Let's just get right into the battles. Okay, we have found another match that genuinely took us like about 20 minutes to find a match, but we have found one. It looks like we've got a Prankster Rain Dance Riolu we're looking at here, so I kind of want to deal with these three as a lead, if I'm going to be honest. Um, he is 1000 ELO, so I, don't, I think I should be fine getting away with something a bit ridiculous. I want to try... Just put him to sleep, if I'm going to be honest. And I want to have a Watro counter. But I can't really do Glamette because, you know. So I'll, I'll go Star Skip. Okay, so it is, this is exactly what we were thinking. So that's perfect. Just Spore him and Sticky Web. There isn't too much the Weasel can do in this situation. Of course, Riola could just go for Bulk Up, but it's not super threatening, if I'm going to be honest. Water, okay, rain dance. Holy crap, that's still done so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna switch here just so I can get because I, I think it's a bit too risky to go for a gigas right here. I'd rather just go for the regenerator considering that real exists. What does he normally run though? I don't normally does he get like anything other than fighting moves? It's not really that real. It's nothing super... Yeah, it's mostly close combat. It gets bullet point. Oh, it gets ice punch, actually. I doubt he'll be running that, though. I am still gonna switch, though. I'll go... You. Yeah. I'm gonna go for a Hydro Pump with him. Okay, that's one turn. Wow, that doesn't kill. That's actually... Ridiculous if I'm gonna be completely honest. Okay, we're gonna set up Stealth Rock and then we're gonna Giga Drain the Weasel. This is actually kind of risky because you could just get one turn sleep, but I think I'm okay with that. Huge? Okay, absolutely huge. Absolutely huge there. Really, really glad he went for a Protect there. He didn't really need to, but. Oh, huge Stealth Rocks. Okay, this is it. We're in a great spot here. Just honestly, just double into the watch roll at this point. Not too worried about the real loot. Uh oh. Uh oh. I honestly, I didn't think that. This is this is new for me. I thought electric resisted water, but I guess not actually. Okay. Well, that's quite nice considering the surskit is a. Uh... Oh no, it's, it's a speed type of watch. Okay, never mind. Any forfeits? Okay. Huge five elo points there. And we'll queue up for another game. Okay, we found ourselves one last match for today. And this guy is actually quite high elo. He's tw in the 1200s here. So let's try and get a good win under our, under our belt here today. So we, there is a giraffe rig player. He's fine. Some people have finally realized that this thing is not banned. It is not illegal in doubles. So we wish this man a good luck. Have fun, and let's try and win this. So we've got Glamet. Drifloon is probably going to be the lead here. This is quite similar to Fish's team, if I'm going to be honest. Except Magnemite has changed out. So overall, still pretty same. Do you have Levitate? No, it's still just sturdy. So I like the idea of just getting hazards up. I'm not against that. I'm going to do that. Screw it. I'm going to turn on timer as well. I'm pretty Drifloon. Honestly... Not a bad lead. I have a feeling the Mudbray is going to switch, considering that Surskit exists. 
We'll see though. We'll have a look. I'm quite content with just getting these up. I'm not too worried about Tailwind just yet. I think especially Sticky Web is going to be super useful against things like uh, Giraffe Rig. Okay. Does get the Rock Slide off. And we don't flinch. Okay, that is absolutely huge. That is absolutely, lutely huge. So now we've got a bit of a problem though, because this Mudbray is indeed Rock Slide. And I don't like that. So I've got two options, I could Terra and Giga Drain into Mudbray, or I could just Protect, and what is Drifloon actually going to do here though? Nothing. I'm calling his bluff. I'm just going to go for the Heavy Slam. Screw it. Oh, yeah. That is a thing that they can do, yeah, okay. Don't flinch. That is, that is not a lot of damage, is it? That really isn't a lot of damage. Um, yeah, Mudbray is just kind of useless here. His, yeah, I mean, Rock Slate is a big problem. I just kind of forget about it every now and then just because Mudbray, my Mudbray doesn't have it. Hmm. It is a slight problem. His mud is faster than mine, yeah? Yeah, it is. So it's definitely faster. So it's I think... I don't really want to invest Terra. But I think I'm forced to, honestly. Because if I, if, I, if I switch out and let something take damage, then I just lose too much momentum. Or I could just let Surskit die. Yeah, I'll do that. I see. Ooh, icy winds. Go into Mudbray. You won't. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Honestly, though, I'll take that damage. Now we can. I'm going to bait the icy winds. I'm gonna bait out the icy winds. I just protect. Well, I think it'd be better if Mudbray dies because it'd just be a free switch. So switch to the Ponyard. I'll just go for the heavy or the high horsepower, I guess. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, he gets skill swap. Oh, that's super bad. Oh, he went for earthquake. Oh wait, why did you go for earthquake? Wait, why? Wait, why? Wait, why? 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 Oh no. That's a huge problem. Because then he gets Tailwind up again. Oh my goodness. That's actually such a huge problem. Wait, faster. No, it doesn't kill. I go for Will O Wisp. Oh. I mean. Wait, that's actually huge. Wait, that's absolutely huge. Okay, wait, wait. Absolutely good fungus here. Shadow Ball Spore. Oh, that's not good. Drifflin does go down though, so no tailwinds. Fungus is so unbelievably good. I cannot understate how unbelievably good this freaking mushroom is. I honestly, do th I honestly still think I lose. If I'm gonna be completely honest, and this is gonna be the first loss of the series. Okay, it's Giraffe Rig. I'm gonna get super greedy here. I'm gonna go for a nasty plot. And I'm going to sack Fungus. Cause there, there isn't really a safe switch here. If I'm gonna be honest. Ally swap. Wait, why Ally switch? What are you trying to do here? Oh, he's trying to beat a shadow ball. Uh oh. Uh oh.
Does he do it again? I'ma say... No. He didn't go for it. Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Yes! Fungus gets the kill in Giraffe Rig. Oh my goodness, let's go. Fungus! On literally 1 HP. The absolute madman. Hold on. Because we're Terra Fire now, we can deal with the Magnemite. Larvesta loses half its health here as well. This is... This might be too early in me saying to this. Because he can just rock slide. That's why it's too early for me to say that. Oh, wait, I've actually got such a big problem. Because Clement can go for Power Gem. But Mudbreak can go for rock slide. Rage Powder. I can redirect... Magma. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Get the Rage Powder. That's huge. Oh, no, he sludge wave. Okay, no poison. Okay. That was actually a really smart switch from him. <sighs> what do we do? Shadow Bone to you. Power Gem into you. Does it kill? It does kill. Okay, huge. Absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. Now Lovest is slower and it's like 1 HP. Oh my goodness. You love to see it. You love to see it. Have we brung have we done another comeback against a second giraffe player? A second high elo giraffe player? Yes, we have. That was another completely unwinnable game there, but somehow we bring it back. Wow, that was insane. Okay, 13 elo for that. Where does that put us on the ladder? It keeps us in fourth place, but we're very, very close to third. We're one win away from third. So, in the next episode, we will try and hit third, maybe even sneak up closer to second place. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure you go and check out Trico's video down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.